with these brothers, my guys. Know that we fly, know that they ride or die. What do you wanna move like? Welcome to my channel, Gaming with SJ. Today we are going to play Land of Empires, and this is my first video on this channel, and it's on the Land of Empires. And we will talk about the simple guide for the new players. First, I'm gonna show you which server I'm playing it. You can go to settings, then manage characters. You can see I'm playing on server 21 right now. And if you click on create new character, you can see server 23 is already out. Okay, now you know I play on server 21. And this is my alliance, which is first ranking, obviously. And this is my position in the alliance 21. Mm. So the first thing we are going to talk about is castle. The importance of castle is very high in this game because if you upgrade your castle, you can upgrade the level of your heroes. For example, if I go to the hero section right now, you can see when I click on the level up, it shows 55 upon 55. That means I cannot level up my hero. Why? Because my castle level is very low. So castle level is very important and as you can see, I am going to unlock Castle 22. And the interesting fact is that on Castle 22, we are going to unlock medals. And medals is the most important thing in this game. Because if you pay money or grind it out, medals can give you a lot of power. Alright. So, to explain this, let me show you. If you click on the events, uh, let me go to Blood and Glory. Okay. Now let's check the ranking side now. See, this third player, if you, if I compare my stats, you can see that the lot power of this player is 6.6 .6 million and my lot power is 1.2 million. This lot power is basically dependent on the medals and I haven't unlocked the medal system yet, that's why the difference is really high and you can see the damage as well 151k and my damage is 38k so i recommend everyone to upgrade your castle to 22 as soon as possible and, and unlock the metal feature the metal feature will be here near your talent okay now let's talk about the talent in, in talent should always be on economy because in, in economy when you reach lord level 32 you can unlock this 20% building speed and there is another skill that increases your building by 20% in 5 minutes so make sure that you have reached lord level 32 okay uh, there is one more thing that i want to talk about is mobility now when you level up the lord this mobility goes to 200 upon 200 okay so always make sure that you have used all your mobility before upgrading your lord Alright, now let's move on to the research. In research, you should always ignore the economy. Because economy should be upgraded during the whole trial event. I am going to explain the whole trial event later. But you should always upgrade development and war. And skip the economy. Because you can use the economy upgrades in the event. Because it will take very less time and you will get a lot of power. Alright, now next is training. Training in this game is very interesting. You can train up to 468 units at my level and it will take 5 hours. Alright, some people might uh, tell you to train tier 1 units. I will tell you that you should not and never ever train tier 1 troops. Because many events in this game require high tier troops. You should always train highest tier troops and you should promote your troops from tier 2 to from tier 3, tier 4, tier 5, tier 6 to the highest level. Do not promote the tier 1 troops. I repeat, do not promote the tier 1 troops. Always promote tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5, tier 6 troops to tier 7. Alright. Now we will go to the buffs. When you click on your castle, let me zoom it out, click on city info, click on bonus. Now you can see my building speed is 61.6% and when I click on that, 
you can see that I am getting 15% from territory, 15% from technology, etc. Same with the training speed, 10% from territory. And you can get this territory bonus only inside your alliance area. And you also need the evil depths. Go to the alliance, then domination, then check it out. And one more thing, this evil depths buffs are stacking. 5% here, 5% here, it stacks as I showed you previously that I have 10% from territory. Alright. Now let's move on to our next topic which is gems use you should always use your gems to upgrade your VIP level because VIP 7 has the legendary hero shard every day for free absolutely free you should save your gems for VIP and you should only upgrade your VIP during extreme challenge event yes let me go to the alliance once again go to the alliance events Go to the event calendar, go to the next week, you can see the extreme challenges con coming on Tuesday and there are many quests in the extreme challenge to spend around 10,000 gems. So save up your gems and use the gems in VIP and also complete the task in extreme challenge. Alright, now let's go to the events. The most important event in this, in this game is Holy Trials. The first stage is about building. Use your building speeders to increase the points in the first stage. And the second stage is about the upgrading of heroes. Note, leveling up the heroes does not affect the rankings. Only the upgrading of heroes through the star level and the skills are applied in the stage 2. In stage 3, you need to train your troops. And in stage 4, you need to hunt the monsters and rally the monsters and, and in stage 5 you have to increase your power through building, research and training. Now let's look at the rewards. This is the rewards for all the stages. You can get this 5 times and this is the final reward. 300 helical shot. And I am pretty sure I can reach top 20 to get 30 shot because my current ranking is 13. Now let's move on to our final topic, which is resource management. As you can see, I have 300 million wood, 250 million food, and etc. And if I show you my items, go on to the resources, you can see I have around 150 million food and wood in the bag as well. How is this possible? Well, let me tell you. When I go to the favorites, look. These are the scout reports that I have saved in my mails and I can go anytime to attack these guys and take all the resources. See, I can teleport here by holding the ground and I can take all the resources. And one more thing, you should not attack anyone equal to your level. But always attack the weaker troops. Because if you lose troops, you cannot progress in other events. Now check. I lost 10k power and I looted around 3.5 million food and wood. But I tell you he had around 56 million food and 56 million wood. I looted all of it. Now I'm going to conclude this video by saying that you should always join the top alliance. Alliance is very important in this game and there are various events that are alliance based and you will get various rewards by the alliance rankings. Always join the best alliance and find the best loots and up upgrade your castles and train the highest tier troops. Thank you. Thank you for viewing the video on my channel and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and stay happy, stay safe. Bye.